these weapons legitimately give you a different death effect each time you kill an enemy. That extends a little bit farther. So if you are buying this skin, is this man sawing his own back? I don't know anything about Umbrella Academy, but they just released the Tracer Pack Umbrella Academy Cha Cha Bundle. Probably butchered that. Preserve the time continuum and get loaded up on sugar with the Tracer Pack Umbrella Academy Bundle uh, featuring sugary blue pink tracers and random mayhem dismemberment. Can't wait to test that out. And then if you buy both of the Umbrella Academy Bundles, only one of them's out right now, you're going to get a legendary KG bundle, a weapon charm, a calling card, so a bunch of other stuff, which is funny because we don't even have the rewards for buying both Terminator bundles yet. The first thing you get is a Wade skin. You get the Cha Cha skin. Uh, I kind of want to test if this makes your hitbox bigger because uh, that is a big head. This is probably going to make you a little bit easier to see when your head glitching uh, just a tad bit, you know, double the size of a normal head. Then we've got the bone saw. I really want to see what the random mayhem dismemberment is. As always, we're going to be testing this out in Vanguard Zombies, Vanguard MP, and then hopping into Warzone as well. Then we've got another blueprint here. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Both these blueprints are very basic. We've got the cut the wrap. Ooh, okay. So this actually has the character from the other bundle. This is a finishing move, bro. That is a fire finishing move. You have, okay. I can't wait to see what that looks like in game. Also the laying down version. Then we've got the MVP highlight. Yeah, uh, I, I take it this character deals with a bone saw because man's man sawing himself. And then he's also both of his finishing moves involves a bone saw or maybe maybe this is normal. So I don't know. Okay, maybe a normal saw sugary support. Oh, uh, my favorite thin mints. Now let's see if our new friend knows where the kid is. Yeah, I, I like I said, I don't get the references, but that's interesting. We got the idiot box emblem. We've got the total hack job spray. We've got, is this a sticker? The mint cadet cookies sticker and then the bone shredder charm. So yeah, a lot of fan favorite stuff. If you like whatever the Umbrella Academy is, go ahead, buy the bundle and start reviewing these items. The head for this operator is actually so big, it doesn't even completely fit on the menu screen. Part of the head's completely cut off. I cannot wait to see what that looks like on someone else in game. Near, now here we are loaded in game. First impressions, the blueprint's kind of basic. However, the Volk doesn't have a lot of blueprints, so there's that, I guess. Then we have the muzzle flash. The muzzle flash looks sick. I really, really like that. And it has a unique shooting effect too. Listen to the sound. I love that they're starting to add blueprints with unique shooting effect sounds. That's really cool. Now let's see the dismemberment. And this said random mayhem. So let's see what happens. Uh, look like that dude just teleported. And then, oh, I, th I think the I think the dismemberment's actually different. I think there's like a, yeah, that guy turned to bones. I think there's like a big pool of them. Hold on, we need more enemies. Okay, now we've got a bunch of zombies. Let's just test out all the random death effects we have. Was that, okay, so there's snow. Is this just a bunch of the older ones that are in game? I think this is, that. well, that wasn't anything. That one just disappeared. That's the electrical. Wait, I legitimately think these are just kind of a bunch of other death effects from other bundles wrapped into one because a lot of these look really familiar. Okay, I've got even more zombies. I want to test this out even more. So that one just explodes the zombie. That snow once again explodes, explodes, explodes. Okay, we're getting a lot of the explodes. Okay, that one just turned to bones. Explodes, explodes. Okay, we're getting a lot of the explodes. Uh, that one zapped. That one did the electrical effect. Yeah, so I think legitimately, this just is a bunch of death effects from a ton of bundles put into one, meaning there's no new unique ones for these. But uh, bro, I don't even care. I love the idea of just having a random death effect and like having all these cool ones we've seen in the past built into one single weapon. Okay, now we've got a horde of zombies. I just wanna see all the death effects going off. Let's just slay the entire horde and just look at the chaos. Okay, reload, kind of, you know, defeated the point there. But uh, yeah, if you're killing zombies on high rounds, just slaying in hordes, you're just gonna get a, just a bunch of everything happening on screen. The blueprints do look a little bit better in a bright environment, but still there's not a ton going on with these. These kind of just look like generic. I think the best part's definitely the tracer fire and the dismemberments, and yes, this this blueprint's also gonna have the same tracer fire and dismemberments that the Vargo had. Here's a third person view of the skin. This is what other people are gonna see when you're running around as this operator. It's pretty basic. The body is just, you know, a generic looking skin. And then the head is where all the interesting bits happen at. It's definitely longer than a normal head, but overall it's not the coolest thing ever. Let's see what happens. Are there any special death effects? 
effects when you kill the operator. No, some of the operators in Vanguard, when you kill them, special things happen. This one just appears to die. Now I'm really excited to test out the finishing move. Oh, so just, oh, and then he teleports away. Okay, okay. And now here's the finishing move while people are laying down. Okay, so pretty much the same thing. And the man just teleports away. That is fire. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the new operator and a normal operator in Vanguard. You can definitely tell the head's a lot bigger. So if we shoot a little bit above the head here, it's gonna take down the operator. However, I kind of want to go down and see how far we have to go. So yeah, we're shooting into the head. So it doesn't seem to make the hitbox any bigger. And here's what it looks like when you're head glitching with the new skin. Yeah, it definitely makes you quite a bit more noticeable. This one, it uh, you can't see near as much and it kind of blends in more. Then you've got this blue guy with red eyes. That extends a little bit farther. So if you are buying this skin, be known that it, it might give you a little bit of a disadvantage in MP, especially if you had glitch a lot. Now for these weapons, we're not gonna test out what camos look like in game because unfortunately they don't really look that well at all. On the well gun blueprint you can kind of see the letters here however i loaded it in game and you can barely notice it even even though it does look pretty noticeable here in the menus let's also test out the basic camos with the basic camos you get a little bit of green lettering up top and it, it just yeah it looks very weird now if we go to the vault blueprint if you put on mastery camos you can't see anything it becomes a normal vault however if we go to the other blueprints you can start to see some blue and yellow so yeah camo coverage on these blueprints aren't amazing the only thing cool about them are the death effects Let's see what happens if we start taking attachments off of these weapons, even though it really doesn't matter too much. So if you take all the attachments off this, you still get the neon letters that say open and whatever that says. Now the Volk. If you start taking off the attachments for the Volk, I mean, you lose a little bit of the magazine, but actually the weapon still looks great. So these look great even with no attachments, but the camo coverage kind of removes everything. Moving over to Warzone, the operator skin looks pretty much exactly the same way it did in Vanguard. One thing I haven't mentioned yet, this isn't its own operator. This is a skin for Wade, so no, you're not getting a new operator that you get to level up and unlock gold skins. That, to me, makes a bundle even better because with the Terminators, you were able to, once you got the new operator, you were able to level up, unlock golden versions. This is a skin for Wade. It's not its own operator, meaning there's no unlocks once you buy this. It's just a skin. Now, here's what the weapons look like in Warzone. Pretty much exactly... Oh, death effect. Let's test out the death effect. Uh, so it looked like the explodey version. I really hope this bundle has the random death effects in Warzone. That's a super important portion of it. It's going to take me a little bit of time to test because we're going to have to take down a few people. Come on, death effect, death effect, death effect. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think that. Okay. Oh, that. Wait, that was fireworks. Have the last two been fireworks too? Oh, no, that was bones. Okay, there we go. Here's what the Valk looks like in Warzone. I hate testing death effects in Warzone uh, because... Uh, it's kind of easy to do it. Man, flash me. That was fireworks again. Is, is that fireworks again? For some reason in Warzone, it feels like most of the time you just get fireworks. Like, I feel like 80% of the time I'm getting fireworks. I know there's a private match in Warzone. It'd be a little bit differently if you could start a private match with a couple people. But the fact that you need, like, a good chunk of people, it's, it's really hard to test out stuff in Warzone without going into an actual lobby. Come on, reload. Reload quicker. And there we go. Yeah, I don't think that one was fireworks. So yeah, overall, this bundle's interesting. I actually kind of like this bundle, but if you sit back and look at it objectively, there's really not a lot going on. The operator skin being just a skin and not its own operator doesn't really give you much to do. It just got a unique looking head. And if you don't watch Umbrella Academy, doesn't really have much of any value. The weapons are cool. And I find them really fun for zombies because getting the like the random death effect is a nice touch. I like that. That's something we haven't seen in a bundle before, but the weapons themselves are pretty basic. So given that, I kind of really wish we had this on a Mastercraft. I wish we had a Mastercraft with the random death effects. That would have been sick but it's not, it's just two random blueprints. So I'm probably gonna give it a lower rating because I just, I don't see myself using much of this crap after this bundle review. So probably gonna give it a four out of 10. Seems pretty fair for the death effects. And really that, that ratings being carried heavy by the random death effects. That's mainly why I'm giving it a four out of 10 is mainly because that if it didn't have the random death effects, it probably would have been a two out of 10. But with that, boys, we're going to wrap this up. Remember, my rating doesn't mean anything. I just give it at the end to close off these videos, but we went through, reviewed everything. That way you can make your own decision and make up your own opinion, whether this is worth it for you or not. 
But uh, yeah, if you guys want to see any more bundle reviews like this, where we go through every possible thing, show you everything you want to know before you buy the bundle, make sure to sub to the channel. We review all the Modern Warfare 2 Vanguard Cold War bundles that come out in full detail. Well, the Ultra skins. We don't do all the bundles, all the important bundles. And even though this one doesn't have, you know, you know the more notable bundles. With that, I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, also, there was no face cam in this video because I'm in the process of moving my setup and I don't have the camera hooked up. So I know it's weird seeing a Lego Unlock video without a face cam. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, the face cam's coming back. Maybe just a couple more videos with no face cam, but it'll all be normal in due time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I want to give a quick thanks to those who became a Twitch sub or a YouTube member and an extra special thanks to those who took it above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member here on YouTube. We got the Legend Army Tech Rex, the Absolute Chattanoa, the Homie Flicks, the Goat RPH, and then finally the man himself, No Spice.